שבוע טוב, אה, גוד טבוך. I want to tell story number 76 of the ship here, Baal Shem Tov, the first compilation of Baal Shem Tov stories. Um, story number 76, the title in the, in the original is Maise the Uman and Nikra Shipovol, the story of the craftsman of those called Shipovol. I had to look up that word, I didn't know it. Uh, Shipovol is a felt craftsman, those who work Uh, on wool, not making thread out of it by mashing wood into this kind of pasty thing and goes flat and that's the the cloth, uh, the felt cloth. So this is a story about a man, a Jewish man who did such work. The author of the Ship Hevel Shem Tov says, Gam Shammati, I also heard from um, Rab Meir of Nipoli. Uh, mentioned in the story before, the source of the previous story, that there was in the same city as the previous story a um, craftsman of those called shippable, those who work clothed of, clothing of um, felt. And he uh, used to pray in the synagogue whether in, um, Uh, in the summer or in the winter, whether it was hot or cold, and under all circumstances, he would always go regularly to the synagogue. And even if there were not 10 men, if there was not enough for a minion, he would go and pray there, be uh, in uh, individual prayer. Once, the Valshemtov came to that city and he saw through the window that As he was uh, smoking his uh, lulke, his pipe, prior to the morning prayers, he saw that the, that the man was passing by and he was very moved. Emotion caught, you know, the Balshemtov in a big way. So the Balshemtov said to the Balabos, to the owner of the house where he was uh, lodging, go and see. Who is that man that is carrying the talis and tefillin in his hand on his way to show? So the, um, the Bala boss, the owner of the house, went to see and said, Oh, that's a uh, craftsman on his way to show. So the Balshanto said, Call him, tell him to come to me. But the Bala boss, the owner of the house, said, uh, he's, uh, he's a little difficult and uh, he's not going to listen, he's not going to come. And the Balshemtov didn't say a word. After the morning prayers, the Balshemtov sent for the man to be to come to him and asked that he should bring four pairs of posmaki. Yeah, posmaki in the local dialect of Polish, I guess, means um, socks. So the craftsman came and brought this posmaki, this uh, felt socks and the Balshemtov said how much for each pair of posmaki so the man says a um, a yellow coin and a half a slot and a half and what about if you give it to me for just one one piece one slotty the the man didn't answer so the Balshemtov brought the balabos and made some arrangement with him and the the, the The, the host of the house where he was staying and he addresses the man and asks him what if, if you sell it to me for less than I slot and a half each so the man says if I wanted to sell it to you for less I would have told you that from the beginning I didn't come here to negotiate prices you ask me this is the price so the Balshemtov pay him the agreed price for the four pairs and then ask him How, you, how do you do this? And the man says, uh, I, I do my craft. Okay, how do you conduct your business? Well, I make um, like no less than 40 or 50 pairs at a time. I um, put them in this big um, bowl with uh, hot water and I mash them. I, I step on them and mash them until they re reach their, their shape. How do you sell them? Well, I don't leave the house. The merchants come to my house and they buy from me and they also bring me the wool 
and I pay them for it with the proceedings of my job, of my work, and only for your great honor I have made the exception to come here because I do not leave my house except to go to synagogue and I pray there always. Whether there is a minion, and I, I do fill up at Sibur, I pray with the community, or if there is no minion, I do biyachit, I do individual prayer. Always in my place, in the synagogue. Go, sit down and pray. So the Baal to ask him farther, he said, what if you need for the wedding of your children? You need to marry off your children. Oh, the man says, Hashem is Baruch, God bless be he. He allows me to live off of my work, and when I need to pay for the wedding of my children, he provides me with it from my work. So the Baal Shem Tov said, and when you're standing early in the morning, what do you do? Oh, I uh, begin to make the posmachia, I begin to make the, the, the socks. And the helium, said the Baal Shem Tov, how do you recite them? Well, those which I can say by heart, as I am working, I do. I recite them all day long. The Baal Shem Tov said of him that he is the Yesod, the foundation of the Shul, of the synagogue, until Bias Agoil, until the coming of the Redemptor, of Mashiach. May that be soon in our days. Amen. Sela. These last sentences are added, not from the from the story that the man heard, the, the Rabbi Dover heard, but he adds his apparently his his uh, part here and says that from here we can learn the size of the virtue of he who earns a livelihood in a kosher manner, in a proper, honest way. A pashutayit, a simple Jew going regularly to the synagogue and doing his honest job and having faith. And that's the story. I am translating the stories of the Baal Shem Tov. I'm telling them here every week in YouTube. Please share, like, and watch the stories. Um, I tell them every week in English and in Spanish, and I am in the process of translating each of the stories into Spanish, Hebrew, Spanish, um, with the hopes to edit and publish the whole book. It's a painstaking work that is taking longer than I expected. Please contribute. Link in the description. Shavua Tov. A good